Okay. Okay. All right. Three, no more monthly fees. Ever. Thirty thousand titles at your fingertips. All right, bro. Full of great. Move and watch TV on your TV today. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable. <clears throat> Yeah.
Network, you know, we got another platform is the Slum Network, which is a platform for entrepreneurs. If you got any kind of business going on, you join the network and the people that's in the network shop with you. But you okay. got to shop with them because they got something going on. So say you cut hair. So my folks that's in the network, we come get haircuts. Okay. You buy merch. We keep the money with us. We ain't got to go outside our network mm -hmm. to do that. We got mechanics, barbers, folks who do carpentry. Somebody got their own business going on. So the network was a way for us to keep everybody business going and to exchange money amongst each other. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And stand on our own two feet. That's really what the slum is about. You know what I mean? That's what we we structured as. You know, everybody is... We on the one umbrella, but everybody got their own entity. Like my cousin run the kitchen. We got the slum kitchen. So he run the food part. Mm -hmm. You know, I do the platform, the slum report. Then we had slum radio, which was a platform sort of like this, but it was designed for local artists. They can come perform in the car. I done had Birmingham J in the car. You know, I got videos from all that. Not not to drop no names, mm -hmm. I'm just saying Bernard Bugs, just local people. Mm -hmm. And the platform was designed to get local artists some kind of shine, some kind of people know what you're doing. You got somewhere to tell people, okay, go to this IG handle or, or go to this platform, this is where my music at. You see what I'm saying? We, we didn't have that. That's why your show so important because we really don't have no outlets for all the talent that's around here. Like you got people play instruments, sing, do spoken word. You know, so it was never no platform unless you, somebody booked one of these smaller venues mm -hmm. and you know about it, you in the mm -hmm. loop. But if you're not in the loop, social media was a way because everybody on social media. So it's like now, if you got some kind of thing going on, if you ain't in the social media curve, you're really behind because people really don't do flyers no more. Mm -hmm. They do everything on the internet, That's everything. Right. So you got to get on these different platforms in order for people to know what you got going on. So, it is just blossomed from there. The topics are coming in, and it was so slick because we never revealed nobody's name. You know, that's why I said this topic came in from a slum king, mm -hmm. which it do come in from a man, you know, because in the network, it be husband and wives, and some of these topics be people real life. Mm -hmm. It just be our opinion. That's why I had to start putting like a little disclaimer. Mm -hmm. This ain't the gospel. This just my opinion or my take on it. It don't mean it's right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It don't mean that I know all. This just how I view that. And then that's how it came about. People were getting in the comment section. You start seeing that people look and see things the same way you do. Sometimes you be discussing things and you feel like you're the only one feel like this. But then really it's other people see it your way too. Mm -hmm. You know, but when we... First of all, we don't communicate. We don't talk. It's always, once everybody get on 10, it go from 10 to the violence. Mm -hmm. It don't never be no communication. Talk, communicate. But another thing, when we communicate, everybody throwing darts. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really hearing what this person is saying. Mm -hmm. So just say, look, if me and you argue, mm -hmm. and if I just stop and just really listen to what you're trying to tell me and process that. Good information. Right. So the argument stopped. Yeah. You know, it's like, hold on, you was right, bro. But first of all, people got to learn how to take accountability. Take for the they egos part. out. Accountability for they part That's in right. it. That's right. Don't nobody argue by themselves. Yeah. So you got to own your part. Every time somebody tell they part, they leave out what they did mm -hmm. to cause this. That's right. That's right. So include yourself. Two sides to a story. Yeah, you got to include, your, you gotta yeah. include yeah. yourself. Yeah. Come on, how y'all get here? Yeah. If, if, if you didn't say something slick or yeah. you did something flat and they just responded, so now they the worst person in the world, yeah. but yeah. you had no thought about how you were saying and how this could have hurt this person's feelings or how you might have came off and they took this. So now when they lash out or respond, now they the villain. No. That's why they always say, think before you speak. Because sometimes our delivery could crush somebody's ego or crush their feelings mm -hmm. because of what we might say, mm -hmm. you know, um, brash. You know, a lot of people say I'm brash, which I'm cool with that. But I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest with you. And I try to... I try to think about what I'm going to say before I say it, but sometimes some things just come up and come out mm -hmm. based on 
how it's going. Mm -hmm. You know, and hey, but I'm man enough to apologize or I'm man enough to say, hey, if if I came off the wrong way, that wasn't my intention. Well, my give, intention. Pe give people clarity. I just sometimes just people like don't that. get clarity. You know what I'm saying? And that's all people want. Like, did you really mean to say that that way? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to ask that, like, bro, you ain't mean to. Call me that. Yeah, but you? a lot of times we don't. We, we don't, don't do that. that we don't yeah. ask that question. We just go ahead and take we it. Just ass. take off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is what you want? He meant that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it might not have been. Yeah. You know, you might have caught him in another thought, or yeah. he might be mad with something else, and you didn't got at him, and it, you know. But ask sometimes, like, bro, you ain't mean that, did you? You know. Yeah, but that. <laughs> it don't sometimes, go that sometimes way. I guess it's, it's hard for us to even just break down and just just Pride, see that man. you know see that hey you know um. That people people really are just people. Right. People gonna be you people know, and pride come before the fall. I got a question. So, go ahead. How long has your brand been around? We we going on we two years away from being ten years. Ten years? Straight up, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. I'm gonna go and put it on out there. Put it out there. So when you had the when you when you were doing your reports in the car. Right. And when you and when you did, you know, had people in the car. Right. I was like Man, I want to be in the car, but I ain't really, you know. Why you ain't get but, that? But see, but see, I was enjoying just seeing, you know, when I, once I got on, once I got on, uh, on the book, on the book, yeah. And I looked and I saw, okay, man, what's going on here? Like, what are you doing? So when I saw it, now I was, I was rushing to get home so I can catch it. Right, right, right. And then by the so time I looked up, I think you, bro. I, I think you went up, yeah, because your topics were so good. Yeah, they were real life you know, topics. So yeah. then when I start, when I really wanted to be on there, when I built up my nerve, because I wasn't really a talker. I, right. I can talk in the barbershop all day long. Right. But uh, once I built up my nerve, then I was like, uh, man, he done moved over team. <laughs> but I still was doing it from up there. I just wanted to I didn't, I, but see, I didn't know, but I wasn't yeah. able to sit in the car. Yeah. I wanted to sit in the car. Yeah, right. With the beat, you know what I'm saying? With the yeah, sounds with and all the sounds and everything. You know and saying? that crushed me too, you know, because I had to leave the car here. Yeah. And I couldn't take it up there with me. Because I tried to run a trailer and it was too heavy for the no trailer, way. so I left it here with my brother. So when I moved back, you know, what I mean, I think I might have did a couple of videos out of the car, or whatever. But then by this time, the merch had picked up, yeah. so I was using a third-party vendor yeah. when I first started doing the shirts. So that's why I hang them up in the wall on the wall because we ain't just started selling merchandise and selling mm -hmm. T-shirts like we've been doing this. You know, when we first started, a portion of the t-shirts went to a chair. Okay. That's why okay. we were selling them for 25. If I went to the chair, the 20 went to us. Okay. You know, because we wanted it to be like, you know how some people, they wait until they get there and then they start wanting to go back and give back. We wanted to be giving as we trying to get yeah. there. So when you get there, it's we all now, we already we been doing this. We still helping though. Yeah. We in the habit of helping yeah. now. We in the habit of giving. We in the habit of doing, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no, okay, we got this money, now we finna do something for somebody. No, we've been trying to help as we can along the way. And help ain't always monetary. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. it's call and check on somebody. Sometimes it's, bro, pick yourself up, you know? We right here, what you need us to do? You know, sometimes people just need that one fan, mm -hmm. that one person rooting for them, and, and they'll take over. But a lot of times it be so hard for us to clap for somebody else. Man, I, I mean, I just want to tell the people, like, if you don't have some slum merch, you slip. <laughs> I, I mean, appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going I'm going to put it on out there too. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate now, that. Now, my shirt I got last time, I had to call say I need a bigger size. Yeah, right. But right. it's good material. Right. Right. I couldn't even stretch it. You know, you named that shirt too. You know, oh, for real? Yeah, you know, you call it the glow hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because my shirt, I went, you know I went, I went, I went in the restroom in a place, and it was going. I was yeah. like, I said, <laughs> man, yeah. I said, oh, so my shirt going. I said, I'm finna clown, that for real. And, and then when I took a picture, it was changing it was, color. It, it was changing color. color. It was, yeah, it, it was going. No, it was going. It was glowing on, on the picture. picture. It looked white, but it was, yeah. it was actually glowing. Yeah, so yeah. man, when I got on there, and I was like, man, I said, man, but I felt the material. It's good material. Yeah, we use different material. So, so listen. Look up the slum clothing line. Yeah. That's this it right here. Yeah. I mean, this right here, this nice. You know we got female. But the stuff box. Too. Yeah, the, the box is I, yeah, the shirt. The man, the too. box that it came in, man, was so nice. Sit I was like, I said, man, this dude hit up with it spent some real money. Because yeah. you don't see people that put back into their material, that put back into their business, 
you know, like you did, you know, and I, 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 I meet a lot of vendors, you know, yeah. and I'm gonna try, I'm trying to support, you know, one yeah. by one, you know, yeah, that's it, how I go, you know, bro. but uh, but they gotta support too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, people be want support, but they don't give support back. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe one it's day a, I can start me a clothing line, line, they'll support, but or whatever. But I tell you what, could do something. That's why, that's why, you know, I started doing this to to, to see if, if we could uh. We can put some people out and, and see if we can make sure that bridge that, the gap. That, yeah, we we bridge the gap. Make sure that we can get some of these people clothes sold or, or you know whatever some they haircuts sold. or a yeah, restaurant. Yeah. But yeah. I well, speaking of restaurant, let me do this. I would like to shout out my sponsors, which is Yo Chef. Yo Chef. Uh, cause she uh he, he you know he gave nice me this spot place. Too, nice now. spot, man. Nice spot. If you now. haven't been to Yo Chef, I'm here now. Nice if you spot. haven't been to Yo Chef, check him out. Now sometimes I post some of the food. But I don't really want y'all to know what I mean. Yeah. Definitely. But you got lamb chops, you got lobster, you got steak, you got shrimp, uh, you got the salmon, baked potato, the chi- on down to the chicken and steak. Uh, just the 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 menu is so is so big. If you haven't been to your shelf, you slip. Shout out to Green Acres downtown, uh, on Fourth Avenue, Green Acres Center Point Two. Uh, I want to shout out to Attorney Ronnie Rice. Uh, he's one of my sponsors. Uh, shout out to Black Hill Entertainment. Um, shout out to Glow Collections. That's my daughter. Uh, she does lashes, yeah. among other things. So, so yeah. go and support. Shout out to the Slum Clothing. Yeah, I'm, huh? I'm finna be a sponsor uh, now. Slum Clothing. We country. finna sponsor. Shout now. out. Listen. See, you blessed, bro. Listen. I ain't have none of that, man. Everything listen. I did is solo dolo. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Solo dolo, I want to shout these people out because these people support me. That's what I'm saying. They have always supported That's me. That's what's uh, up. And, and and I and I, I thank them for it. You know, um, I have had some some wonderful people in my in my my background that have right. really done some great things for me. But man, back to you, man. I, I you know I want to <laughs> tell you, man. Listen, I've been a fan for a long time. I appreciate you know, it, bro. And will always be a fan, you know. But and, you know, um, we go way back anyway. I understand. Anyway. Oh, and don't think I'm biased. We don't think I'm biased because anyway. everybody that come on here from Cottageville, you know, or, 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 or rock with Cottageville, it's just to support you. You know get, what I'm saying? You know, the North <laughs> just like that, bro. Hey, we the coming. North just like that right we now. Coming, you know man. I, listen, big North side. I will support anybody. Any I have anybody on here. This is what this is for. Yeah. If, if you, you know, I got a, a long, long line of people that, that asked me to come on, you know, and I, I got you. We're we going to make it happen. You know, um, but what I, what I want people to know is, you know, good merchandise. Yeah. Good merchandise. This, sure. ain't, no, this ain't no shabby stuff. You're sure. going to wear this because it's nice. For sure. Uh, you, you, you're going to wear it. I promise you're going to wear it. For sure. So, man, I got a question for you all. Go ahead. Shoot. What's one of your favorite clothes designers? My favorite? Yeah. Well. Other than yourself. I mean. I mean, now, right yeah. now, I really don't have no favorite because I really got out. You know, I always had a little clothes. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? No, so you, I, you, I, I yeah, have to take it back. On, yeah. I have to take it back to Versace used to be one of my favorites. Okay. But then... When I start seeing how they blatantly say that this they don't make this merch for black folks, mm-hmm. and we the one who make it popular down to Coogee, mm-hmm. you know, we made all these Coogee brands. Too? Coogee, we made all these yeah, brands yeah, popular. Yeah. They, these, you can tell these are Italian cut, mm-hmm. you know, so they don't fit everybody's shape. Mm-hmm. So the clothing is not designed for us, mm-hmm. and they'll tell you that, but they'll charge you. For fifteen hundred dollars for a silk Versace mm-hmm. shirt, come on, man, that's way too much money. That's a that's a used car. Mm-hmm. But of course, at the time, I wasn't paying no fifteen hundred for it. I was hustling for it, mm-hmm. to be honest. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, but I still like I like Versace was my favorite mm-hmm. then. But I was wearing all type of stuff. You know, back in the day, it used to be um, um, Willowell and Janelle, mm-hmm. and Swatch. Mm-hmm. You know. All these different fads that we've seen come through, mm-hmm. none of it be designed for black folks, but mm-hmm. we make it popular. So you'll go and give Polo forty dollars, fifty dollars for a T-shirt with just a little stitch man on it, mm-hmm. but you won't support somebody 
That's who local. got some local yeah. who got some nice merch. Because there's some folks out here who got some nice merch, man. Like, real deal. It's real nice. But we won't do that because it is not the popular. It's not the Alpines. It's not the Sony. Names. Everything is names. Wells Fargo, McDonald's. Mm -hmm. These are people names. So you're not buying no brand. You buying that person. You paying but, that person. Before, before we get ahead of ourselves, can you show me some of your merch? Yeah, for sure. For sure. You know, I post all the time, so they already know. I, they ought to be through sick of seeing it. But I hey, sick we're, we're, hey, they don't get sick of going to the polo store. They don't get sick, but I ain't polo. Now, this is the Rich Long Skull Cow. Okay. And they changed colors. That's the Rich Slum Skull Cap. We got Rich Slum Slum Bandits. Rich Slum Skull Cap. You That's see that? That's Skull Cap. This is Sweatshirt. Right. All look, our merch got our tags in there. the neck. Yeah, this it changed this ain't like no, the shirt. This ain't no, you can't rub this off. No, nah, this don't come rub off. Okay. It changed the hat match the Sweatshirt. Okay. And it changed colors. So, now, that's a nice thick sweater. That's, this sweater ain't going nowhere. No, nah, that's a sweatshirt. You can't, you can't, wash, you can't wash this away. No, that's a real sweatshirt. This is a real sweatshirt. Yeah, that's a real sweatshirt. And on the back, uh, you see what and, it says on the back. And he has women's merchandise, too. Oh, yeah. We got real some nice women merchandise. B's, quiet money, make loud moves. Quiet money, make, make loud, loud moves. moves. Better act, you better A. Hey, <laughs> you better ask Everybody ain't you know. got to know you got it. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So what's, what you got right there? Uh, that one, this here is a hustling slum hoodie. Simple hustling slum hoodie, man. Okay. This and it's right got here. the camo material on the front. It's got the H and S on there, right? H and S on there. H and S on the sleeve. Now look at right this on there. the back. I mean this is this is made nice in quality slum. stuff. Got made this, in this, slum this ain't no this back. ain't no this ain't no junk now. I mean now that I'm was the sweatshirt. All the stitching on here. You can tell when stuff good stuff. That was the sweatshirt. This a um rich That's slum nice. hoodie. I actually got some Jordans to match this. To match this same color. <laughs> this a rich slum hoodie right here. Okay. And it's got the different color angels on the hood part. Okay. Like on this side is gold and green. On angel, this side angel, is green angel. and gold. <laughs> yeah, and it got the AK like sweatshirt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was wondering what that wool I was moving too yeah, fast. Yeah, that's an AK. Yeah. yeah. So you got the sweater, right? The hoodie. Yeah, that's got the hoodie. That hoodie. Rich slum on the sleeve. Got real pockets now. Oh, yeah. That's you the hoodie. Yeah. That ain't the sweatshirt. Yeah. And that's gold and green, Woodlawn High School. Yeah, but uh, on the gray. <laughs> with the, on, on the gray. So what high school you went to? I went to college. You went to college. I graduated from college. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I graduated from. That's college. what I thought. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah I'm all the way now. And all the way now. <laughs> all the way now. Nah. Baker Stowe. Don't get it wrong. I'm Cottageville. I'm Northside. I'm all the way now. We just moved, and I had to end up going to Woodlawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Woodlawn. Yeah, for and sure. All my friends at Woodlawn. Shout out to Carver High School. They just a slum hoodie. Shout out to all the schools. Got slum out oh, over man, the hood. Oh, man. I like this one. And okay. got slum out over the front pocket. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. just a, a basic that, this slum like, hoodie. Man, this one fine. Back in the means. You know what I'm saying? Slum back man, in the means. Man, where you come up with these colors, man? These colors uh, are crazy. Just, you know, like and dig and clothes, bro. And man. This, this is a glow sweatshirt. With you name. Yeah. Hey, that, that is one, man. It's the it, hustle hey, that's uh, glow. Yeah. You know, I kept it simple with this one. Yeah. You know, I changed the fun on it. Yeah. And you know, slum way is just a, a is is like a, our way of thinking. Tell know? them, tell them what your your website is. Uh, the website down. But okay, go, um, to, go well. Your Facebook. But you just you just go to my page. You know, buy the burrows, or you can type in slum clothing. It'll pop up. Okay. You, anything with the gorilla with the crown on it, that's me. Okay. For sure, man. I appreciate this too, bro. Man, no, we appreciate you, man. Anything we can do to help, man. I appreciate it. And put it back out there, man. That's oh, what we doing. Sure. Oh, for sure. That's what we doing. Now, this one right here, this the one I'm buying. Yeah. Yeah, now, now this you one right got here. the first of the first of this. Now, this one right Ain't here. Ain't nobody got that. It's got the gorilla on here. With the crown on. Yeah, with the yeah. crown on. This yeah. same gorilla. It's actually this same gorilla. Okay. That gorilla there is that. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And see, nobody got that one. I never used that gorilla on no merchandise. Okay. So you got a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, so we, we, we hey, yeah, you got we, we loving the merch, man. So, um, you know, we got um, we got triple B's that's for the women, we got slum licious, slum bunny. The slum bunny got a bunny on it. Um, I saw the slum bunny, yeah, we got the I slum saw the bunny. slum bunny. Uh, we got tights, skull caps, snapbacks, bucket hats, okay. Um, 
We got jackets. You know what I'm saying? They just sold out of the jackets. I did a rich, long flower jacket. You know what I mean? They kind of sold out so I couldn't get all the sizes. That be the thing with the way things are now, sizes get gone. So okay. the bigger sizes, 3X, 4X, they be out of them. Yeah. So you got to be John on the spot. You know, yeah. sometimes the bread don't come like that because yeah. people don't shop. But I still have to keep the doors on. So, you know, I just do what I, I make in as me. You yeah. know what I mean? Everything done in-house. So I make all the product. I market it. I make the bags. I order the boxes. But I still have to send them my uh, artwork that I want. And actually on the box, that's the city of Birmingham. Okay. The Civic Center. Yeah, I, I saw so I, I saw the city of Birmingham. on top of the Civic Center. And he got, look, on his the box. City. Yeah, the city of he Birmingham. He got, <laughs> on his yeah. box, he got the gorilla. On top of the Civic Center. On top of the Civic Center. Yeah, man, because, you know, we be looking up, man. We don't be looking down. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, everything we say and do means something. Yeah. You know, slum, slum is how we used to greet each other. You yeah. know, you might see somebody say, that's my slum. Yeah, right. Like, that's really my folks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, slum way is just like our principles. You know, things we live by. You know, hustling in slum, you know, you got to hustle regardless. That's right. You got to survive. That's right. You know, so... I guess people really don't be understanding everybody's slumming. If you ain't no trust fund, baby, you slumming. You mm -hmm. working two jobs, you got a hustle, you slumming. Mm -hmm. You trying to survive mm -hmm. by any means. Every, all of us doing that, bro. So that's why I couldn't understand why people weren't really pushing it hard because it's not I'm here and you here. We here. We all struggling. But it's, it's nothing wrong with struggling. Struggling be a you. You feel me? Struggling to make you, and there's no mistakes. They'll they make lessons. Fashion Nova rich. They'll make some of these other brands that born see, fly. You already rich. have money. Yeah, they already have money. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, we're going to these stores, but you know, they got good product though. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, your product is good. I feel you know like what I'm saying? that. And, you know and, what I mean? And when I when I when I first saw it, I was like, man, I got to get we some got of that. T-shirts, right? You know what I'm saying? I got on a. Oh yeah, I got on a Slum Boy T-shirt now with the ski mask. Oh that yeah, change colors. Oh man, that's tight. Yeah, I got on a Slum Boy T-shirt up on the hill. Yeah. And see, we make the merch to go together. Yeah, yeah. Like you could put a hoodie with and a T-shirt. With his you merchandise, you with a T-shirt. You, you can wear me? just about anything you can with. Cost, yeah, because it's gonna change colors. Yeah. Like this this puff material. Like yeah. we got different materials. We kind of like this one right here. Yeah, it puff yeah. off the shirt. Yeah. You know, this change colors. But that's so fly right there, man. We that's... use foils. You know what I mean? Yeah. Camo material. We don't just keep it basic. Yeah. So we try different things. You know, I got some stuff I'm working on uh, with embroidered patches. Like I'm gonna do a sweater with the leather patches to spell out slum with the different materials. So you know, we constantly be at the drawing board because. I can't keep pushing the same thing, but we got to keep evolving. You see what I'm saying? So it's constant work. Well, let me, I tell you what, I want to put something else out there. Now this one for whoever listening, whoever wants to start their business and is scared, uh, jump off for the porch. whoever is scared, just like bro said, scared to jump, jump off the off porch. The porch man. Now this is, this is for you. Jump off the porch. My next question to you is. Go ahead. Did you go to college? No. All right. He didn't go to college. Did you go to design school? No. All right. So you started doing all this and didn't even go to design school? No. I mean, I always had design in me. You know what I'm saying? Like from houses, if you ask the people, I'm an electrician by trade. Okay. But if you didn't... Hold up. Do, do you mind if I tell them where you're currently working at? Yeah, TNF, electrical. Yeah, well, tell I, I'm going to tell them... The building that he's working on, he's working on the A.G. Gaston Motel. Yeah, right. The now. historic A.G. But Gaston Motel. But I did Motel. the police station. Oh, you did the police station too? Yeah, okay. I just finished okay. that. The I'm cyber center, the new... Yeah, I'm the one put all the TVs up. Okay. I did all that. Okay. Straight okay. up. Okay, I got to talk to you about something. Yeah. Uh, so, so he's working on the historic... So he's going to be a part of history. So, now, you didn't go to school for no no design. No none design, of that. none of that. It just, but it's, it's people out here, man, that's scared to start a business. Why? That's scared to, man... You know, a lot of people scared because they feel like, well, what if I fail? But what if you make it? They never think of that part. Some people feel like, well, what if what if they don't buy it? That means you just got more clothes to wear for yourself. But what if they do? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Are but you what if you do keep make up it? with the demand? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You just got to get out here and see. Man, people project their fear on you. 
you know, and I had that a lot, you know. Um, folks will come up to me and they don't realize they hurt my feelings. I see you got your little business. Hey. I see you out stop there. Right there. Take stop right work. there. Stop right there. <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> It's cool though It's Gucci People say you still got Your little barbershop Yeah right. Why they but, shrink you down but, That's what killed me But the reason I told you Stop right there Cause I'm gonna tell you something I love TikTok Yeah Dude said Somebody asked Say you still got Your little business He said you still got Your little job Yeah That uh, you gotta ask That you gotta ask Take all work for yeah. I love that right there me You see what I'm saying me Hey too. Hey yeah. But most people Won't shop I had a clothing store Downtown for about Four years on 4th Avenue Right Right there at the Masonic Temple Right and the people that was around me didn't shop with me. Right. It was people from other sides of town that came and shop. That came and shop with me. Yeah. That's how it be. You get more support, bro. Most of my support came from people from other states because you know the slum here was now. You know we out the country. Yeah, because you said I know I didn't know, know out the country. I know you yeah. said they were big on the Virginia. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not just Virginia though. Yeah. Florida, Detroit, you know New York, Texas, Man. you know. Everybody slum and like when I be saying that I literally be telling the truth. Yeah. You know, and most of my mail orders come from other states. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I survived in Virginia, just off of shipping the t shirts until I found me a job up there. Yeah. So it was just sold off the merch. You yeah. know what I mean? Which hurt me too. Yeah. Because that one's for my bills or my this was for the business. Yeah. Like right now, I don't even pay myself. Everything that I bring in, I sink it right back into the business. Mm. That's why I got bags. That's why I got mm. boxes. Man, your stuff. I you mean, know, you know, the boxes. I, I just wish they. I, man, I got a box. I just, car. I just be thinking but, about me and when I'm going to the store. When you go to the polo store, they put your stuff in the polo bag. Mm-hmm. And I wanted my people who shot with me to feel like that. Like this man, real, when you brought that box to the car, I'm like, hurt. yeah. I said, what's this? And then and when I opened it up, up, I was like. Like, I said, bro, man, this man got a box, bro. And I that's when thank I, you cards and everything. Thing, the first thing I saw on there was that gorilla sitting on top, on top of the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. like, man. Simple I said, man, thing. this man got his own box. He's and serious. Then, you know, see, we got bow tie gang, triple B's, slum bunnies, uh, manicure gorillas, and manicure gorilla is like uh, a well groomed animal. <laughs> you know a fly man, nigga That's crazy But he a street nigga Yeah But he a fly nigga Yeah cause I saw a gorilla With a tuxedo with on a tuxedo. Yeah, yeah 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 I thought, yeah. And then you had, had that. you had one that was smoking I want that one nigga One that was smoking Yeah I want yeah, that one nigga Yeah you got a cigar yeah. in his mouth Yeah I want that yeah, one nigga Yeah a lot of people Can't peep that one Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, ain't gonna never, we ain't gonna never Be solid with people Yeah You see what I'm saying And we be ashamed And struggling Ain't nothing to be ashamed of Everybody's struggling Ain't no when you be seeing what's on social media, bro, and they show you what they eating or they might be in front of a car, they ain't that real life. Yeah, a lot of time, man. It's not. But when you see me eating at your shelf, it's That's real. That's your real life. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, because you know what? You know what I said? Okay. I said this. If if I can go to some of these other places, Root Chris and all these different places like yeah, that. And get on my money. And get on my get money. My I can come over into my folks and get to my and folks. Get you know what I'm saying? And have fun, be in my own little spot. You know what I'm saying? And Chill, a whole see experience. some good people. You it's know what I'm saying? Ain't no craziness going on. We just, you know, just live. You know, just yeah. kick it. It's you know a what better experience, bro. It's good atmosphere. Better. So that's why I come over here. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? I got other places. I go to Green Nigga. I yeah. do it all. But yeah. Magic City Grill, that's my breakfast spot. Right. Green Nigga, that might be my middle of the day spot. But I got right. other places I go to. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like here. You know what I'm saying? This, you know, my little spot. If I want to get me something to eat, like a nice salmon, or oh, I'm you know gonna get a good cocktail. You know what I'm saying? I don't drink, but they got good cocktails. That you know what I'm saying? I mean, but at the same time, this is just my spot. You know what I'm saying? Right. This why that's why I come down here. This you know, spot. but I'm supporting. You know what I'm saying? I'm everybody support, support. You know what I'm saying? Everybody and that's how and it's, supposed, that's what to it's supposed to be, bro. Yeah. I'm supposed to push you. I'm supposed to send folks to your barbershop. Yeah. Because it's quiet to hell. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you turn the folks on to me. And we supposed to push the next person that's down with us. And you know, that we got to push You know, it don't take other. but a second to share. That's it. It don't take but it's, a second to just share. That's free. That's so free. If you pushing no the, if you pushing the slum network and you supposed to be braided, huh? Why you ain't sharing? Why you can't just hit share? Just hit share. I ain't even asking for no money. I ain't asking ask no you, money. I just ask you to share. The but if, if you share, that's just like that's, that's just like ten thousand. Like you gave me twenty thousand. That's just like twenty thousand. You see what I'm saying? So that that's why. Because you don't know a lot of times, man. I share sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I might still support you, man. I support you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, man, for help, different, man. I'm just saying for different people. You man, know? all that help, and that, man. And that right there, man, that, that means to a lot of people, that means more than anything. Now, I got a question for you and you the interviewer. All right. I'm with it. Let's go. Because you, you've been a business person, okay. first of all. I, I always, I always been proud of you because you always man, been on your it. ten toes doing something. It looked like And you it. do a lot in the community that a lot of people don't know about and you don't need to toot your own horn. Like, you majorly active in the community. Way more than a lot of these man, dudes, God. bro. You know what I mean? Well, we know he a part of it. Of course, yeah. But it also the character and the person. Yeah. What you feel like about when people like yourself that's been an entrepreneur for a while, why is it when it comes to entrepreneurs, you're always looking for the deal? Mm-hmm. Why you don't know want to give them folks their price for whatever they, they sell it? Why is, give me a BOGO, give me a two for one, oh, you ain't going to knock nothing off? That's the only way you got a shot with me, I got to give it away to you? How am I staying busy? If I give it away to you, I, I I don't want a customer that bad. When I was when I was cutting hair, and we was charging five dollars on Wednesdays. Right. Back in the days, I started cutting hair when I was sixteen. Right. So we would have a five dollar Wednesday special. Right. At the door. So you get a haircut for five dollars. Right. It sounded good to get them in the door. Right. A lot of people came, a lot of people didn't. But when you look at the $5, when you're supposed to be getting the $10 at the time, you you're like, dang, man, I'm losing. Yeah. But you're trying to keep the $5 going. Right. And you got one or two new customers. Right. Right? Then we went, you know, then haircuts was $10. You know, you had to grind like I don't know what yeah. in order to make some money. Right. Then when haircuts went up to 15 you know, you're like, okay, I'm doing, I'm making some money, but you had to grind like I don't know what. Yeah. It took me a long time to go up to 20. Right. And when I say a long time, I mean a long time. Long like, time. how could it have been $25? Had places. been at least 20, maybe other 25 places. other places, right? Yeah. But because of the love for my customers, I was like, well, man, I ain't going to do them like that. I ain't going to go up, right? But then as I, you know, opened up shops and went this place, went that yeah. place, I started saying, well, dang, they can come down here and show me their new Jordans. They can come, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They can make me wait all day, and they done been to, you know, standing in line for the Jordans. I'm like, yeah. man. So then I, I said, man, you know what? I got new bars and stuff. At the time, I had new bars. I said, man, we're going to go up to 20. Well, a lot of people was like, 20? Man, hold up, bro. Wait a minute, man. So a lot of people didn't want to pay the 20, so a lot of people left. And I'm sure it happened like that, you know, for a lot of shops. Right. So they left. And I'm like, dang, bro, you know what I'm saying? But then I got to the point, I was like, man, you know what? If $5 will make them leave, then buy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> then I went mobile. And I went up to 30 and 40. And I lost a whole nother other clientele. Yeah. Right? Right. Some because of COVID. And they was like, well, you know, I don't want to, you know, because yeah. I had a, the older clientele. You're right. I'm probably getting myself in trouble on social media. But some, the ones that stayed, they're like, man, we got you. Don't yeah. worry about nothing. Yeah. Right? They gave me 40, 50, 100. Wow. I'm like, whoa. Wow. But then God replaced me with a whole nother other other clientele. Right. Right? Right. So the one that stayed solid, you know, I got you. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Then, Ever. Yeah. You stayed down. You stayed yeah. down, 10 toes. Yeah. Some couldn't find me. You know, yeah. I don't know why they would go to the shop when I closed down and didn't use the cell phone. <laughs> on. But, you know, but then some of them, some of them, you know, they, they, when they found me, man, it was all good. You know, right. some of them stayed. They, they paid the price and some of them were like, man, yeah, but they went other places, but and the price was that price. This and and this is no arrogance. Please don't take this arrogantly. But the way I am now, I only want to deal with who want to deal with me. That's it. If you don't want to shop with me, if you don't want want me that's to cut your hair, man, listen, it's some barbers out here that's I, I can name a bunch of them. Right. You see what I'm saying? 
There's some barbers out here that's getting down. I ain't the best. Right. I just grind. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. I can grind some of them out now. Yeah. But some of them can. Phew, can it's some, it. man, some. It's some Hispanic barbers. Yeah. It, it, I mean, I, I I can start naming barbers. Yeah. I know I know all a lot of barbers. Yeah. I know all of them. Basically. Yeah, basically. You see what I'm saying? In the game but, at the, but at the end of the day, man, for me, man, I'm 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 I done been in this game for a long time. Yeah. I know a lot of people. So yeah. so the question that you ask, if they shop with me, they shop with me. If they don't, they don't. I'm still, I still pass our business cards like I ain't got nail no cost. Right. And that's why I get mad at a lot of barbers that like, I, I test you to ask, man, where your business card? Oh, yeah. uh, I ain't, uh, and that's, yeah. and not just barbers, business people, period. Yeah. See, it, 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 it's so simple. I've never been technical, but I make business cards on my phone. Right. Any, anything, any business card, anything I want, I can make it on my phone, right? Right. So I'm like, if I can do it, Anybody can. Anybody can do it. Yeah. So, like, a lot of times, like, I pass out so many cards, and I go right to Kinko's, I make up a card on my phone, and send to Kinko's, it's ready when I get there, right? Mm-hmm. But if I don't, just say if I'm out of town, if I'm, I'm off somewhere, if I don't, mm-hmm. I still got a card on my phone. Right. So, you know what my next thing is? You just shoot it to Hey, what's your cell phone number? Yeah. I don't have an Apple, yeah. iPhone, or none of that. Yeah. So, I said, what's your cell phone number? Yeah. And I shoot them a text. Yeah. Now you got my number and you got and my you got business my card. card. Yeah. And I got your number too. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Because what I tell people, look, people want to, some people want to support you. Right. But if you don't have a business card and they go that way and you go this way, you done told, yeah, man, I could have downtown, such, such, such. And they, they go that way and you said, man, I know he going to holler at me. But by the time they get down there, they cheer and acting bad or, the, the lady in the line and made them mad and then they forgot where you say you cut at. Right. Now, right. you might see them again, you might not. And they have nothing to refer back to. They don't have nothing to refer back. But if you put yeah. that card in their hand. They hold on to that. If you send them that text with your card yeah. or they your got number, that they, they got that in their phone. That across. Oh, this the barber dude. This the barber dude. Yeah, yeah. That, it's just that simple, man. It's that simple. It's, that, it's just that simple. That depends on if you, if you really want to do some real yeah. business. And see, like me, okay, but I don't have no uh, sponsors. Mm-hmm. Never had, you mm-hmm. know. Everything I got to this point came from the folks on the network, you know, shopping with me or whatever. But I was doing thank you cards in all my purchases, mm-hmm. receipt. Everything I could think of to make it possibly like the store. The one thing that I didn't get around to is doing my 5 by 8 card to put in there mm-hmm. and the stickers. You know to put in there, cause, bro, I give away a whole lot of stuff. Like somebody might spend a hundred dollars with me, I might be like, here go ahead, even oh, yeah. though that's taking out the inventory. In yeah, my but mind, that's gonna make people. In my mind, it's like these yeah. folks didn't have to spend like that yeah, with me. Exactly. So I, I want to give them some. Exactly. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I always be wanting to just, I be trying yeah. to yes, I'm the position my heart and that's to how you give gotta be, man. More than I take. Hey, you feel? Me? He said, the more you give, the more he gives to you. Right. So, <laughs> right, right. So you doing what he said. You know what right. I'm saying? So and, I mean, trying to, yeah, yeah, you know, but yeah. with, with a, do but it giving with a clean quality, heart. Giving quality and, 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 and not just trying to get quantity. Right. You giving quality merchandise. Right. And I ain't, so, so I ain't you ain't, to you ain't slumming them. on your merchandise. No, I ain't going to do you that. You see what I'm saying? So, no, I ain't gonna do that's that. right. That right there is giving within itself. You're not right. trying to beat your people. No, that's why I keep you're my prices the to hurry up. You're not trying to hurry up and make some money. Like, bro, like that rich loan, I sold it to a dude. He called me back. He was like, B, uh, why you ain't selling these T-shirts for $100? Mm-hmm. I said, bro, you'll give me $100 for one of these T-shirts. It blew my mind. Yeah. So he was like, yeah. Man, it's dudes out here selling merchandise. Way up 50, there, bro. 50, 100, 150, right? Up there, bro. But... It just depends on how you rock with that person. Right. It depends on, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, but if you me, can afford it. And some but people, for you me, know. The, the merchandise need to match the money. Yeah. And then I still look at um, the people that's shopping with me. You know what I mean? I want them to come back. I don't want to, I'm not there yet. 
Mm-hmm. You know, and even when I get there, I still don't want to be like super jack up the price. Like you see these designers, once Obama or somebody put on one of their outfits or something yeah. like that, now they ain't automatically shot the price up to the moon. Now the regular people can't afford it to have you out there. Shaquille O'Neal said one day, he was going into a, I think a game or going to an event. He said a lady cussed him out. Mm-hmm. Cussed him out. She said, why you? Why y'all got y'all shoes so high? These children can't afford them shoes. Said she cussed him out so bad, man. He said, it hurt his feelings so bad. He said he was going to sign a deal with, I think, Reebok going to sign a deal with somebody. Mm-hmm. And he said he, 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 he didn't do the deal. Mm-hmm. He said... He went back to the drawing table, and that's why he made the shacks. Yeah. No matter whether other children laugh at him, whether people laugh at him or not, yeah. he made those for children who couldn't afford. Right. And went on to sell millions and millions and millions of those shacks. That's what I'm right. To tell you. And, and so you get some guys, they make money off their shoes, but they don't make, you know, a whole lot. Right. Because people can't really afford them. Now, Jordan has yeah. done good because he keeps putting the same shoes out or whoever, right. Nike or whatever. Right. Right. But at the end of the day, man, that. That that says a lot about it's about affordability, bro. We it. in times now that everything is expensive now, food expensive, soap tissue. But well, that's you why know. I want to speak on like like with, the, with 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 the virus, right? It made a lot of people. You know, we talked about last week. Uh, me and some guys, you know, uh, uh, Shaq and Dunn Prez, we was talking about. It made a, this virus made a lot of people, man, see that they got to change, right? right. So. A lot of these corporations and, and, and business and stuff, they treat their workers wrong or the, or the workers just really don't want to be there. Mm-hmm. Someone got the PPP money. But I'm talking about workers that really didn't get it and just want to work. Right. Well, the corporation field may you know, put you on, on, on a thing with a platform saying, well, hey, you got to be here. Right. And, and, and we're going to overwork you without just telling you. We're going to overwork you and, and you got to, and we're going to underpay you right. and we and you we gonna overwork you like as far as like you got to do two jobs in one, right? Because this person's not here, right? Well, that made a lot of people leave their job, right? And that's why you got all these food trucks. That's right. why you got people with their own clothing lines. You got that's folks, why you, you see it, what I'm saying? They pushed them, man. They pushed them out the porch. These you food know? trucks, man, it looks so good, man. I'm just like, yeah. wow. You know, I, I saw a guy. He got uh, he got a clothing truck. Mm-hmm. He had hoodies and t-shirts. What's his name? Slaytastic. Um, yeah, my little partner got Slay Tasty. He got a clothing truck. And he got his own little clothing line, too. Um, yeah. Success. Yeah, so, you know, people... I think, because he was down at the road race. He was down it's at pink, all. the truck pink. Box I think truck. it's pink, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. my little partner, yeah. Pimp, man. Yeah. He doing his yeah. thing, you know what I mean? And um, he, he been pushing clothes. What's his name again? Um, We call him Pimp. Okay. You know what I mean? But what's the name of the truck? Uh, Slay Tastic. Slay Tastic. Yeah. Y'all yeah. shout out to Slay Tastic, man. Yeah. Y'all go shop with him. Yeah, he doing this Go thing, shop with man. him. Yeah. And he been yeah. doing it for a minute now, you know, and now he got his own little line, Success Clothing. So, you know, I ran into him, and, you know, I told him keep pushing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I don't look at nothing as competition for yeah. me because nobody never been in no lane I'm in. Yeah. All that stuff is we own everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's no sponsor. We own Slum, a legit store, you know what I'm saying, our platforms. So I, our concept was always like Prince. If you play the instruments, you write the music, you sing the song, all the money come back to you and your crew. You know, we don't outsource nothing. Everything, we, we, do, it, we do everything, you know, down to the marketing. We do it all, you know what I'm saying? So, we had so you do, do all your own marketing? Everything. Okay. Everything because, like I said, I don't have no backers. I don't have, I don't have nobody pumping no money into this. I pump all the money in it. You know, I take what I make off the sales and put it right back in the business. I don't know if you know them or not, but I want to send a shout out to Woke and Wealthy. I uh, seen them before. I think. Now I had, his, I had, it, I had what well, he called it beef and broccoli. Yeah. Yeah. I had one of those. Did an yeah. outfit I had on, man. Uh, he, he, man, listen, he going hard. He going hard, yeah. Man, listen, he got some new merchandise. He got a pop-up shop in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And, and go go uh, go to Woke and Wealth of Kelvin Harris, man. He he doing his thing, man. Shout That's out to him, up. man. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, shout out to him. I mean, yeah. he doing he doing some, some, some good stuff. That's what's uh, up, bro. Got DJ A1. I don't, I don't know the name of his, his clothing line, man, but 
you know, look up DJ A1, man. He he mm-hmm. he doing his thing too, man. There's some, some guys out here, man, that's really, guys out here pushing. you know what I'm saying, pushing, yeah. pushing their line, man. That's you know? right. I'm trying yeah, to thank everybody as I go. If you yeah. think of something, shout them out, man. Yeah, you know that's what, what I've been trying yeah. to do, bro. Yeah. But I be so focused on my own stuff and doing my own yeah. work. Like, I can't keep up with nobody yeah. else. Yeah. And it's not that I won't wear nobody else merch. Yeah. I got my own merch. I got Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. I don't have no models. Yeah. And see, our thing was how we really really got out there, I would always ask people who buy the clothes, send me a picture when they rock. Mm-hmm. Let let other people see regular people where it is. It that's ain't right. no pretty person. Yeah, like, right. you know, my brother had one of me. He said, man, when somebody famous wear it, that's what's going to take you off. I was like, yeah, why somebody know. famous got yeah. to um, have it on in order for me to take off? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it's going to take off, it's going to take off. I'm keep pushing, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's all I know to do, you know? I got another one. Fat Boy Mozzie. Uh, he got a nice clothing line too. Okay. And shout out to Art Franklin on starting his clothing line. Oh, Art Franklin yeah. got a clothing line. Yeah, Art okay, Franklin got yeah, he got a clothing line. I, I don't know the name of it right off. Q I want to find the black up. Go ahead. Man. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Good uh but uh Art Franklin got a clothing line, so Wait, shout out to him too. What who? Yeah, uh, it was a couple But man, y'all go y'all go shop with Art Franklin, man. He he got a clothing line. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of him as I go. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, if you think of anybody that's got a clothing line, man, you know, uh, post them for me. Yeah. Uh, send, send me an inbox. Yeah. We, we'll shout them out. We don't mind. Yeah. And, man, y'all come get on this platform, man. Y'all be y'all be out here rah rah and whiffing about what you got going on, and this man getting you a platform. He ain't charged. We ain't going to never, never be solid with people. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And we be ashamed. And struggling ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Everybody's struggling. Mm-hmm. Ain't no... When you be seeing what's on social media, bro, and they show you what they eating or they might be in front of a car, they ain't they real life. Yeah, a lot of time, right? It's not. But when you see me eating at your shelf, it's That's real. your real life. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, because you know what? You know what I said? Okay. I said this. If, if I can go to some of these other places,